What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be very special because I know a lot of you guys, including myself, have been waiting for the E85 tune to be done on the Mitsubishi Eclipse. If you recall, I actually had the E85 tune prep video done a couple weeks back and I scheduled the E85 tune, but I actually went ahead and talked to BZ over at BZ Motor Engineering and we set something up. We're actually going to be installing an AM dash and an AEM Infinity ECU. I don't have the products here with me to show you guys just yet. They're over at BZ Motor Engineering, but if you don't know what they are, it's basically lets you do more stuff with the ECU, such as like rolling anti-lag, two-step. Uh, it's just better for tuning overall, and the dash literally shows you like your shifting points. It's all digital. You don't need any other gauges basically to go with the car. Now, this stuff is not street legal. I, I recall this is basically for a track car. So we're basically gonna be converting this street car into more of a track car, which we plan on taking in the future as well once it's tuned. So I'm gonna take you guys along throughout the whole video, show you guys, you know, give you guys an idea on how to do it. And then basically have BZ give me a little base map, a little, you know, maybe a little two-step or something at the end of the video. Um, we'll see what happens. Honestly, I don't know what to expect, but it should be an awesome mod to do before it's tuned. So for now, let's head over to BZ Motor Engineering and let's see what happens. The car left me stranded once again. <laughs> this time, um, the car started acting up. I thought I ran out of gas, so I came to a gas station, but I inspected the engine bay, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but this alternator, which is fairly new, by the way, it's split in half. Look at this, and I have no tools with me. So now I'm completely stuck in a random gas station. Honestly, I was not expecting this to happen today, but it happens, um, I'm not even mad. The the alternator does have lifetime warranty on it, so I'll probably just replace it or I'll try to fix it. But it literally split in half for no reason. So the car was acting up on the freeway on the drive here. And we have BZ to the rescue. Let's put this bad boy in, let's start heading out. All right, she's on the trailer. Now we're gonna head out to the shop and die, guys. We made it to the BZ Moto facility and I go ahead and pull this car back out get inside and let's start working on this AM stuff and fixing the alternator. Yeah, we got the alternator out real quick because you guys can see this thing's in pieces. So I'm gonna go basically warranty out at AutoZone, get back in here, put it on. Uh, once I get back to you guys, I'll be completely on and we're gonna go ahead and start on the AM Infinity and Dash. I get to show you guys the full AM parts that we're gonna be installing on the Mitsubishi Eclipse. I got a little too anxious to start opening these up, but I do wanna show you guys what's inside the boxes. Super sick. So first we're gonna start off with the AM digital dash setup for the Eclipse. This basically lets you see all the gauges and stuff all in one. It's basically everything you need that you need to read about the car, it comes in this dash. And what's really cool about this dash is that it has these little shifting lights right here. So as soon as you need a shift, it literally blinks red towards the end, which is really, really cool. It has all the sensors that come with that. We have these boxes right here. So this is fluid pressure sensor, which is basically fuel pressure, fuel pressure sensor, um, oil pressure sensor, air temp sensor, we have the boost controller, we have the map sensor, we have the flex fuel sensor to run E85 and pump gas, we have a harness extension kit, and we have this for the wide band. So we have to wire all this up, it's pretty much the tedious part about all of this. And of course we have the main course meal here. And honestly I'm pretty excited because the AM Infinity really gives you more tuning features and options versus the stock ECU. So once we have it all installed in the car, I'm actually gonna have BZ look over it and pretty much show us some of the features that come with it. All of his cars pretty much have AM Infinities and dashes. You can see there's this Porsche, there's the Hot Wheels Porsche that also has it. It's the center seat, so you guys can see dash. And we have the world famous 1000 horsepower minivan. Honda Addis, Honda Odyssey, excuse me. Um, I think it's also running the AM. Yeah, it is. Same setup. This is pretty much what we're gonna be doing to my car. So you guys can see, all digital. He has his Honda inside, he has the Honda wagon. Let me see. Yep, digital dash as well. It used to have a digital. All right, so I got Fabian out here with me. He's gonna help me with Hello. the, um, basically the installation of the dash onto the cluster. I was thinking of putting basically you know, the dash on the cluster just like that, but it would look kind of weird. So BZ out here has some, um, like carbon fiber templates. Dash is just gonna sit with like two L brackets, right? Here. Yeah, so it sits up high in front and the whole back is carbon fiber, so it looks clean. You gotta get it for the IG or what? Yep. <laughs> Let me see. 
and that's pretty much the finished product right there hangs from right there some L brackets should look good in the car and do chill <laughs> how to reveal it <laughs> so now that the dash is done I'm gonna go ahead and start on the wiring with the sensors all the sensors have to be individually wired have the wire here have the tools needed here like the crimpers um, these don't come as a plug-and-play option so as you guys can see pretty much had to get all the pins incorrectly so I'm gonna put you guys on the GoPro and let's get to it Alright guys, so I pretty much have the whole box with the wires done. Let's head to the back of the warehouse and start putting these on real quick. All the sensors are pretty much mocked up and ready. We ran the wires inside the car to pretty much measure. It's a huge mess right now, but at this point, we kind of have a harness made for the AM Infinity. At this point, we just need to loom it, which is right here. Loom everything so it looks nice and neat. Um, right after that, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much get this plug ready, which is basically what hooks all these wires that are being made uh, into the jumper harness which then connects to the AM Infinity. After that, everything's plug and play, um, and then we could have Easy pretty much program the car to run on the AM Infinity. All right guys, so we have the speed density intake on now. We're no longer recirculating the blob out because we're going speed density. The wiring on this end, let me show you guys. Um, it's pretty much done. It's a wiring mess, but um, drawn from Pyro Group came out to help me pretty much set everything up. And as you can see, the dash setup right there looks really nice. Let me show you guys a real quick on the setup. So initially you could actually have any picture or um, words that you want. Um, initially I just went ahead and had the Mitsubishi Eclipse, which little picture that looks super sick. And BZ actually went ahead and gave me um, the Aventador Lamborghini Aventador layout, which basically has boost levels, ethanol content, oil pressure, air fuel ratio, fuel content, water temperature, uh, the gear I'm in, the RPMs, the speed, the mileage of the car. Of course, I can click these buttons on the side here. And then of course, it tells you everything about the car, which is super dope. It's honestly, it gives the car a really nice look. I know you guys can't really see because it's kind of dark in the garage, but you guys pretty much saw like the POV of me driving as a carbon fiber in the back. I'm honestly super happy at this point. The car is pretty much ready for a tune besides some small little things. Um, I do want to give a huge thanks to the guys over at AEM Electronics for hooking it up with the AEM Dash and ECU. Um, if you are interested, I'm going to go ahead and link down pretty much all the stuff that's on my car down in the description of the video. I also do want to give a huge thanks to BZ over at BZ Moto. And I also want to give a very special thanks to Jerron and Aaron from Pirate Auto Group because they actually came down. Um, I think it's uh, closer to the LA area. They came out to BZ Motor Engineering and they pretty much taught me how to do everything. Um, and they did help me a lot with the wiring the, and, and you know on the back end. So a uh, huge thanks to those guys. That's pretty much for the video. I'm super happy at this point. We're pretty much ready to get the car tuned as I, I told you guys before. I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Road Race a call and see when we can schedule an appointment. I am a little nervous, but it has to get done so the car can run really, really good. So... 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.